Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how encryption and decryption is done using Playfair cipher with the help of a simple solved example. Playfair cipher has mainly two steps. In the first step, we generate the key square. The key square is a 5 by 5 grid of alphabets that acts as a key for encrypting the plain text as well as decrypting the uh, cipher text in this case. The grid has uh, 25 uh, places, so we can uh, place uh, 25 alphabets. But uh, the English letters have 26, so what we need to do is we need to omit this uh, letter J. And uh, whenever the plain text contains the letter J, we need to replace J by I here. Now, the next question comes in front of us is uh, how to uh, form this uh, key square. To form this particular key square, what we do is uh, the initial alphabet of this key square, the initial alphabet of this key square are the unique alphabets of the key, the order in which they appear followed by the remaining letters of the alphabet uh, in the order. For example, in this case, uh, the key given to us is monarchy. So, we need to take the unique letters from that particular key and then we need to place it over here. So, in this case, uh, uh, M, O, N, A, R, C, H, Y, they are placed in this uh, key square first, followed by the remaining letters of the alphabet. For example, you can see here, A is already placed here. So, the next letter is B. So, that is what we have placed. Uh, C is already considered. So, we have placed D. After that, E, F, G, H is already considered. So, we have taken I directly. Uh, J is not present. Next is K, L, M is already placed and so on. So, this is how actually we need to form this uh, uh, key square here. Once the key square is available, uh, uh, next step is to uh, encrypt the plain text. So, whenever we want to encrypt the plain text, the plain text is uh, split into a pair of uh, two letters that is also known as the digraph here. There are few rules we need to follow whenever we want to split the plain text into a pair of uh, two letters here. Uh, that is, uh, whenever the plain text has odd number of letters, so we need to add one extra letter that is known as Z here. Because uh, if you have odd number of letters, so the last uh, pair will be consisting of only one letter. So, what we need to do? We need to add one extra letter that is Z here. For example, uh, let us say that instruments is the plain text. So, the first pair contains the letters I n, second one is S T and so on. So, the last one contains only S here. So, this one what we need to do is we need to add Z here so that we will get one more uh, pair in this case. So, this is the one rule we need to remember whenever we divide or split the plain text into a pair of uh, two letters here. There is one more thing. Uh, we cannot uh, uh, form a pair uh, with the same letter. For example, let us say that the plain text is hello here. So, the first uh, pair is which E, second pair will be LL. So, we cannot form such kind of uh, pair here because uh, both the letters are uh, same here. So, whenever you get such kind of things, what we need to do is, after the first layer, we need to add one extra letter that is known as X here. So, LX and the next pair will be what here? LO here. So, that is what you can notice. So, this X will be called as the bogus letter. It does not have any meaning, but we cannot form a pair with the same letter. So, that is the reason we will add one extra X in this case. So, these are the two rules we need to remember whenever we split the plain text into a pair of two letters here. Now, we will understand what are the rules for uh, encryption of a plain text. Let us assume that we have considered a pair. Uh, within that particular pair, both the letters are in the same column. In that case, what we need to do is, we need to take the letter below each one. For example, let us assume that the digraph is uh, consisting of two letters M, E here. So, M is present here and E is present here. Both M and E are present in the same column. Because both of them are present in the same column, what we need to take? We need to take the letter below each one. That means, M is encrypted into C and E is encrypted into L here. The meaning of this one is, the digraph is ME, encrypted text is CL in this case. The second rule for encryption is, uh, let us assume that the, both the letters uh, from the digraph are in the same row. Let us take an example. Uh, there is a digraph consisting of ST. S is present here and T is present here. Both of them are present in the same row. If they are present in the same row, what we need to do? We need to take the letter right of each one. That is, the S is encrypted as T here and T is encrypted as the next letter. Next letter is not present here. So, we will take the L in this case. So, S is encrypted as T and T is encrypted as L here. The third rule for encryption is, uh, let us assume that uh, the two letters of the diagraph are not present in the same row, same column. Now, what we need to do? In this case, you can see here, uh, the example contains uh, NT as a digraph. N is present here and T is present here. Both of them are not present in the same row or same column. So, what we need to do is, we need to form a rectangle and then 
uh, we need to take the letters on the horizontal opposite corner of the rectangle. At the time of encryption, we will go a uh, clockwise direction. In the meaning of this one is uh, N is encrypted as R here and T is encrypted as what? Q in this case. So, NT is encrypted as RQ over here. So, these are the three rules we need to follow whenever we want to encrypt the plain text into the encrypted text or you can say that the cipher text here. Now, we will take one complete example to understand the encryption process in Playfair. The input text or the plain text is uh, instruments. First, we need to divide these uh, in instruments into, you can say that uh, the diagraphs here. The first one is IN, second one is ST, third one is RU and so on. Now, what we need to do is, uh, we need to encrypt these uh, diagraphs into the encrypted text here. So, first one is IN, I is present here, N is present here. Both of them are not present in the same row or same column. So, what we need to do is, we need to form a rectangle and then uh, the opposite corners we need to take in clockwise direction. The meaning of this one is, I is encrypted as G and N is encrypted as A here, but is nothing but GA in this case. I will take one more example, that is, uh, uh, you can say that RU. Uh, again, R is present here and U is present here. Both of them are not present in the same row or same column. Again, we will form a rectangle. The clockwise direction, R will be encrypted as Z and U will be encrypted as M in this case. So, similarly, what we need to do is, we need to encrypt the remaining uh, diagraphs so that we will get the encrypted text. The complete encrypted text for the plain text is this one. Now, what we need to do is, uh, we need to understand how to decrypt this uh, encrypted text into a plain text here. For that reason, again, we need to understand the rules for decryption. Let's assume that the, the both the letters of the diagraphs are present in the same column. In that case, what we need to do is, we need to take the letter above each one. For example, let's assume that the diagraph contains a CL here. Uh, C is present here and L is present here. Both of them are present in the same column. If that is the case, the letter which is present above, that will be the decrypted text here. The meaning of this one is, C is decrypted as M and L is decrypted as E here. Coming back to the second rule, if both the letters are present in the same row, we need to take the letter left of each one. That means, uh, let's assume that we have been given a diagraph as TL here, P is present here, L is present in this case. So, in this case, uh, what we need to do? We need to take the letter left to this one. So, left to T, what is present? S yes, is present. Left to L, what is present? Uh, nothing is present here. We need to go back to this uh, other side. Left to, to L, T is present here. So, T is in, decrypted as S, L is decrypted as T in this case, but is nothing but ST here. The third decryption rule is, neither of the rules uh, are true or you can say that uh, both the letters of the diagraphs are not present in the same row or same column. In that case, again, what we need to do? We need to form a rectangle and then we need to take the letters on the horizontal opposite corner here. But in this case, we need to go anti-clockwise direction. At the time of encryption, we have taken clockwise rotation. In the decryption, we need to go anti-clockwise rotation here. Let's take an example of RQ here. R is present in this case and Q is present over here. Now, uh, they are not present in the same row and same column. So, we need to form a rectangle here. We need to take the letter on the horizontal opposite. Uh, but in the anti-clockwise rotation, so R will be decrypted as N here and Q will be decrypted as T in this case. So, NT will be the decrypted text here. Now, we will take one complete example uh, so that we can understand the decryption process here. So, this is the encrypted text what we have done in the first uh, case. Now, we want to decrypt this one. Again, we need to form what? The diagraphs. That's the first one is GA, second one is TL, third one is ZM and so on. Now, uh, we need to go with uh, one diagraph at a time and then we need to decrypt it. So, for GA, G is present here and A is present here. They are not present in same row or same column. We need to form a rectangle here. I have formed the rectangle. Now, we need to select the letter on the opposite corner in anti-clockwise direction. So, G will be decrypted as I here and A will be decrypted as N in this case. That is nothing but I N here. Similarly, I will take another example that is uh, ZM here. Z is present here, M is present here. Again, they are not present in same row or same column. So, we need to form a rectangle and then we need to take uh, the opposite corner letter in anti-clockwise direction. So, Z will be decrypted as R here and M will be decrypted as U in this case, that is R U. I will take another example that is uh, CL here. C is present over here and L is present here. Both the letters are present in the same column. So, we need to take the above letter here. So, C will be decrypted as M and L will be decrypted as E here. That is nothing but ME. Similarly, we have to do it for all diagraphs. Once you do it, you will get the decrypted text as instruments. That is the actual plain text what we have started at the initial state here.
So this is how we can use the Playfair cipher to encrypt the given plain text into the cipher text and uh, we can decrypt the cipher text into plain text using the uh, Playfair cipher here. I hope the concept of uh, Playfair cipher is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.